Hey guys and welcome to another one of Arbiter's Gary's Mod Tutorials. Um, today I just wanted to go over with some more Expression 2 things, um, namely the use of different variable types. Now, it was Tutorial 21 I believe where I discussed different variable types within Wire. Now, of, just to refresh your memory, I won't go over everything again because that would be repeating myself. So if we go down and click on Constant Value, there you can see we have one value, it's a number, and it is 20. Now you can see here it says type number. Now we click this, we can see different other types of variable. A variable is just a, a value, basically just, I'll use that term, but you just need to know it's something that holds a value. So, what we're mainly going to be looking at also is string today. Now, a string is a word, essentially. It is any character, A to Z, or number 0 to 9, or some symbols, whatever but it doesn't act as a numerical value so if I type 20 and it is a string it will not hold the value of 20 it will be the word 20 if you understand that and that's basically what we're going to be looking at today so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the Stargate to illustrate how we can use the mixture of both string and number systems seamlessly well seamlessly easily <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a just a little expression that's going to tell me what the Stargate is doing. Now, if you if I was to just spawn a, a regular screen here, wherever it's disappeared off to, uh, da -da -da, display. There we go. Screen. So, oops. Create. I should have really prepared for this, but <laughs> so okay, that'll do. Right. Ignore that says energy level. Uh, so if we wire this up to the Stargate, you can see we've got different outputs. We have active, open, inbound, chevron, whatever. So the one we're going to be looking at really is chevron. Now as you can see, if I was to dial the Stargate, that as those lights on the gate are going on, the number is increasing till it gets to number 7 and then the Stargate opens. Now, it, that's to do with the show that there's seven symbols that need to, the seven chevrons that need to be encoded before the gate can be active. So, that's just a nice little output that the makers of the Stargate mod have done. And we're going to be using that as our main um, input to make this computer. Now, well, basically, what I want is I want a text screen that says when the Stargate's not doing anything, when it's open to another gate and when it's active, like when it's doing something but it's not open. And that's what I'm going to make, so we're just going to start off by making a screen, just a regular screen, but I wanted a different model because that one's bad. Uh, monitor big, okay, let's have that. And then I want a text screen and I want that one to be monitor big as well. And its default text says not, but I'm fine with that. I just stick that there. Okay. So, what we have is we have this wired up to Stargate Chevron. Now, you can see at the moment the gate's not doing anything, so it's zero. And when we start to dial the gate, it goes through 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then at 7, when the gate is open, it stays at 7. So, we have our parameters really. When the gate is zero, it's inactive. When it's at seven, it is active. And when it's in between, it is just basically working. So, that's going to be the premise of our expression. So, we're just going to open up an expression, a new expression here. New expression. Okay. And we're going to call it uh, gate computer. Okay. Now, we're only going to have one input, and that is going to be Chevron. <coughs> because obviously that's what we're feeding in. And what we want to feed out is a text, like a, a string, to go to that text screen. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have our output as um, string. No, let's, let's not call it that. Let's call it output as active, but we want it to be a string. Now, in expression, everything is defaulted to a number, and we need to set it as a string by writing a colon and then typing string. And when you do it right, the thing will, the word will go orange, and that means it's worked. And that is 
we have now set active to be a string variable and not a number, whereas chevron is still a number. So we're going to do trigger all because we're not going to have much complexity in this. Let's see if I can expand this a bit. Right. So our first line is going to be a basic if statement. If chevron is equal to zero, then active equals and then in x in quotation marks it equals uh, inactive and that's our expression for now so that's just going to be that and we're going to do another line if if chevron is equal to 7 then active equals open or wormhole open and that's going to be our if it's active. So we'll just uh, validate that successful, right? Save it, and we'll just uh, we'll just use it for now and see how it works. So if we wire this up, let's we'll, we'll use the uh, the DHD as the uh, so Chevron will feed in from Chevron and string output will go to there. So you can see at the moment it's inactive. And if we dial a gate. Because we have nothing set to the intermediate, then it's just saying. And now we have work all open. Because it is. So that's worked, and then if we deactivate, it's back to inactive. Right. So now we just need to fill in the blanks. So we go back to our expression. Uh, gate computer. Uh, where to put it? I need to refresh it. <sighs> okay, so we go on to our next line, and this is going to be a bit more complex because we need to do an and statement, I think. So we're going to have another if. If chevron is greater than zero, because obviously we want to do it between one and six, not between zero and seven, because it d the other one, if it was between zero and seven, it would act at the same time as the other ones, and it would cause a clash. So we're going to say if chevron is less than is greater than zero, and chevron is less than seven, then active equals active. Do. Then active equals wormhole or gate active that would be a better one right so if we save that I think that's all successful validate yep save right and overwrite then now when we run the gate gate active until it gets to number seven and then work all open and there we've written a little little just Stargate computer. Now, we might make it a bit more complex, just a little bit, and introduce a new element into it. Because the Stargate, oh, I'll, I'll show you first, also has a um, feature to read in whether the gate is coming in or not. Because if, if someone is dialing into your gate, then it outputs a value, whereas if you're just dialing out, that, that value isn't true. So what I want to do is make that value linked into the Stargate computer so that it says when a wormhole is incoming and not just when it's active, inactive, whatever. So I'm going to edit this slightly. Expression 2. Um, get computer. Okay, right. The first thing we're going to want to do is to add in, uh, inbound to one of our inputs because obviously that's now causing a change. Now, even if a gate is incoming or outgoing, it still has inactive and wormhole open. That's just normal. So, w the only one we're really focusing on is this line here, which looks at when it's active. So, we're going to add another little bit here. If chevron is greater than zero and less than seven and inbound equals zero, <coughs> equals equals zero, remember to do two equals when you're using a comparison and when inbound equals zero, which means that the gate is not inbound, we're just going to have active equals gate outgoing. 
and that's that. And now we're just going to have the other one, else, which means else if chevron is greater than zero and chevron is less than seven and inbound equals one then active equals gate incoming well that's that doesn't really sound right but that would work I would imagine so let's just validate that works okay save it and replace it now let, all we have to do now is wire up the extra inbound to the inbound output of the gate so if we dial somewhere say that place get outgoing it says outgoing that's a good sign now it says it's open <coughs> that's good now I'm just going to go through quickly just to illustrate the other part of this and I'm going to stick a mobile DHD down right so that so now if I come over here and look at my gate again so I'm going to dial the other star gate now using this mobile DHD so I'm at gate zero that one okay there gate incoming so we've just we've set up the Stargate computer now that works and there's where all open and so the, th this little expression can tell us when the Stargate is going out coming in when it's open and when it's inactive based on just a number that it receives from the DHD or the gate itself now I uh, hope you found this tutorial um, interesting uh, informative and I shall see you again next time. Remember to submit some requests or anything if you have any, because I have no ideas for work to do. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.